welcome back to the channel Living in the Philippines. This is the 8th video of the list of cities to visit in the Philippines, and it's all about Cebu City. Located east of the island of the same name, it is the capital of Visayas region. With almost 3 million inhabitants, it is the second most populous city in the Philippines after Manila. Cebu is also the oldest city in the Philippines and was the first place of Spanish colonization on the archipelago in 1521. The Basilica Minore del Santo Niño. It is the holiest and oldest church in the Philippines. It was founded in 1565. Candles are constantly burning in its courtyard. An incessant procession of the faithful come to venerate the representation of the child saint on display in a chapel. This statue is paraded through the streets of the city during the Sinologue Festival, which is Cebu's biggest annual event. Every Sunday and Friday, the road bordering the church is closed to traffic as open-air masses are celebrated throughout the day. A museum inside the basilica displays the history of Christianity in Cebu. The Magellan Cross Located next to Basilica of the Holy Child and protected by a stone rotunda, the Magellan Cross is a Christian wooden cross erected by Ferdinand Magellan on April 21, 1521. It marks the spot where the first Filipino Christians were baptized, King and Queen Humabon. Ferdinand Magellan left Spain in August 1519, aboard a fleet of five ships. The expedition financed by the Kingdom of Spain brought together 237 men from different countries to conquer the world and its coveted spices. The journey began first with crossing from Atlantic to the tip of South America, now known as the Strait of Magellan. Then the fleet embarked on the crossing from Pacific Ocean to Southeast Asia, and more particularly, the Philippines. Ferdinand Magellan was the first European in the Philippines in 1521. Of the five ships, only one, the Victoria, crossed the Indian Ocean, then the southern tip of Africa via the Cape of Good Hope, to finally reach Spain on September 6, 1522. It was therefore the first ship to have sailed around the world. Fort San Pedro, located next to Basilica of the Holy Child and Magellan Cross, Fort San Pedro is the oldest fort in the Philippines. A fortification built in 1565 by the Spanish conquistador commanded by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. The triangular-shaped bastion was completed in 1738. It was erected so that the two of its sides could face the sea and the third to the land. The fort remained under Spanish control until the Philippines ceded to the United States in 1898 with the Treaty of Paris when it was returned to the Cebuano. During World War II, it served as a refugee for the Japanese between 1942 and 1945, and once the battle against Japanese forces was over, it was used as a field hospital. The fort retained a military dimension until 1950 year during which it became a historical monument with a garden arranged within it. Today, there is also a small museum with paintings, photos, and archaeological artifacts from excavation in Cebu and also from the whole Philippines. It is a very pleasant place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city center. Subu Museum This is the Provincial Museum of Cebu. Subu is Cebu's pre-Hispanic name. This museum is housed in an imposing coral stone building that was the main prison of the Sayas district until 2004. This explains its relatively large size when it was built in 1869. During its 135-year history, the prison has not only housed criminals. Catimponeros were imprisoned there during revolution. The Catimponeros were members of secret society founded in 1892 by Andres Bonifacio to liberate the country from Spanish colonizers. They were held in prison without trial and were eventually executed in the Nerbal Carreta Cemetery. Today, this museum is a heaven of peace in the bustling city of Cebu. Each of the room addresses a theme. The most interesting are the galleries dedicated to Spanish and American colonial times. Upstairs, the World War II gallery contains an American bomb dropped on Cebu and Japanese propaganda newspapers. You will learn a lot about the history of Cebu and Philippines from its origins to the present day. 
The entrance fee is 75 pesos per person. The Casa Gorordo Museum Located in a peaceful residential area near Subbu Museum, the Casa Gorordo Museum was originally a private mansion built in 1850s and bought by Isidro Gorordo, a wealthy Spanish merchant. The walls of the lower part of the storage of agricultural products, agricultural tools, and horse-drawn carriages are made of coral stone from Mactan, the neighboring island of Cebu, while the living quarters upstairs are in wood. The agriculture combines local Spanish and Chinese influences, a unique blend that characterizes the cultural identity of the Philippines. This splendid residence, nicely decorated and beautifully furnished, transport us to the intimacy of the rich merchants of the pre-war period. The entrance fee is 120 pesos per person. Very knowledgeable and extremely friendly guides make the tour wonderful. The Top Lookout It is an observation platform located at altitude of 600 meters above Cebu, reachable in 20 minutes from the city center by a pretty wide road. The circular platform paved with hexagonal shaped slabs and bordered by fascinating circular stone, architecture housing, concrete tables and benches. There are a few shops selling drinks, food, and also souvenir shop. It is a great place to admire Cebu and day and night relax away from the hustle and bustle of the city. The entrance fee is 100 pesos per person and there is no additional charge for sitting in the covered areas. Leia's Temple Nicknamed Taj Mahal of Cebu, it is a proof of a husband's love for his late wife. Unlike the Taj Mahal in India, it is not a mausoleum but houses of treasures and memories of Leia Adarna, the grandmother of the actress Ellen Adarna. As her husband had promised her, this is the place where all the objects and collections gathered during his travels will be gathered under one roof. The structure was inspired by an ancient Roman architecture with Doric granite columns. Various Greek statues adorn the corners and different parts of the building. Two golden lions stand guard on their side of the main staircase that leads to Portico, which leads to the shrine, where a bronze statue of Leia is on display. Construction of the temple began in 2012, and it's not yet complete. Located at the top of Barangay Busay Hill in Cebu Town, the seven-story high temple of Leia covers an area over 5,000 square meters. The entrance opens onto a driveway that leads to the main courtyard, with granite floors and a marble fountain in its center. The temple houses 24 rooms which contain Leia's collections. It is 45 minutes from downtown Cebu. The entrance fee is 100 pesos per person. Mactan Island, also called Lapu-Lapu. The island is located east of Cebu. It is connected to the city of Cebu by two bridges. It is where Mactan Cebu International Airport is located, which is the second largest airport in the Philippines, about 20 kilometers from the center of Cebu City. The airport is only a few minutes away from many hotel complexes with magnificent diving spots that are the enjoy of lightning trips from Manila, Hong Kong, and or Korea. Mactan Shrine In 1521, Lapu-Lapu king of the small island of Mactan refuses to submit the Spanish invaders. Ferdinand Magellan, who had managed to win the favor of the region's most powerful leaders, led an expedition against him, estimating that 60 armored men could defeat the natives 30 times as many. During this battle of Mactan, Ferdinand Magellan fell under the blows, wounded by a poisoned arrow. He died on April 27, 1521. Mactan Shrine commemorates this victory. Next to it stands a statue of Lapu-Lapu arms in hand. The site is one of the key events in the Philippines. The Lichon You cannot visit Cebu without tasting its fabulous Lichon. Lichon comes from the Spanish word lichi for milk the origin of the suckling pig, an essential national dish during celebration and this is Cebu's culinary specialty. It is a suckling pig stuffed with lemon herbs, salt and pepper, and then spit roast over charcoal. During cooking, it is regularly coated with a mixture of coconut water, milk, oil, until the skin is golden. The best preparations are characterized by a crispy skin and a juicy flesh with a savory taste of spices. If you are traveling to the beautiful country of the Philippines, Cebu, the capital of Visayas, has many historical sites to visit. 
If you can afford it, be sure to visit the city and its surroundings to devote a beautiful day to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and turn the bell on to receive notification of future posts. A big thank you for your support and encouragement. Please feel free to comment on topics that interest you. With that, take care of yourself and see you soon.